Hello, crazies. My name is CrazyC88, and this is the going out of business book call from Borders. You all know that Borders and his company filed for bankruptcy, and they all went going out of business. So, I was driving around on Saturday. And the, the guy was waving the sign saying 50% off to 70% off books. So I was like, pull on in and let's see what I can get. And this is my spoils of war. I mean, everything is basically 50% off. So, this is probably going to be the only haul I do until maybe October and December. It's October is my birthday, December is Christmas, so those those months I should sort of get some money and be able to do a book call, or oh, not two book calls. So my book calls are gonna be few and far between. But let's get to what we really want to see, and that's the books, and not my ugly mug. So uh, I basically put on my bed at college. This is my dorm, by the way. Um, just so you can see the covers and I'll tell you the names. Okay. I got, uh, the Absolute Diary. The absolute, the Absolutely <laughs> True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Samuel Alexi. Sorry about that, going up so close. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Because last time I saw in the bookstore, uh, at Books A Million, which is my local, which is my local bookstore. Uh, I've read basically the, f the first chapter, and I loved it. I, l I love Sir Melexi's work, so he's a great author. The next is... I forgot, I don't really know the, the s title of this series, but it's by uh, Megan Walden Turner. Um, it's basically... I think it's the Thief series. Um, the second one is The Queen of Attilion. And it's the King of Attilion. And then I think this one just came out. It's still in hardback. And it's a conspiracy of kings. Um, I, I love the first book. I bought that used at, uh, for 50 cents. These were, of course, half off. Um, this was half off. A hardcover book. 16 bucks. I got it for 8 I saved $40 because of the going out of business. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Because um, I loved the, the first one, which was The Thief. Uh, I'm looking forward to continuing the series because it was an interesting series. So, looking forward to it. Um, the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd, uh, I believe, eight, uh, Eighth Grade Bites. Uh, I saw this in stores for quite a while, both at Target, Walmart, and books million and each time I, I, I always pick it up and be the inside flat it's, oh, there's, see there's no back so I eat, read the inside flap and I'll read the about the author and then I just got I may start reading the first page and I was like all right interesting interesting concept so I've been eyeing it I, I really do think it's gonna be a interesting vampire book and then, Infinity, another book that I've seen in the stores, and read the back of it, about the author, read the back, and I just read the prologue, like, this weekend, to, to see if I was really going to like it, and I was, I was surprised how much I actually liked that kind of, wish I would start reading this now, but I got other books I want to read first, so that's stuffy that had been moved closer to the top of my to be red pile. And then, of course, Holly Black's White Cat. Have not read anything about Holly Black, but I've been hearing good things about Holly Black. She is a good author from what I've been hearing. She's great. Uh, I have Tithe, which is uh, a modern fairy tale. 
So I'm looking forward to being the white cat. Uh, I find it very interesting being the back. I mean, I never really thought of actually having magical people basically be criminals. That they are criminals and that it's like against the law to, to do magic. I never really thought of doing it like that. It's an interesting concept with the curse workers. And then the one that I really, really wanted. Because I read The Demon King, loved it, and I saw this at Borders, and I'm just like, I got to buy it. Instead of paying, I think, $9.99, I, I, I paid 8 bucks because I wanted on payback because I got Demon King on payback. Really wanted this second volume of the Seven Realm novel. And I wanted it. I was actually don't. I was actually gonna buy it for my birthday, but I was like, no, screw it. I'm buying it uh, early. So really, look, really, really looking forward to reading the Exile Queen by Cinder Worm China. She's definitely my my favorite YA author. I know other people might say Holly Black's the favorite YA author. Some would say uh, Stephanie Meyer, some would say J.K. Rowling. Um, I love them, I love Harry Potter, I love J.K. Rowling. But see, Harry Potter's done and over with. And I have to move on to a new author. And it's Cinder Worms time. Love the Air Chronicles. I love the Seven Worms series. Can't get enough of it. So that is my eight, eight book call. Going out of business book call. All, all eight books are phenomenal. Now back to me. Yeah, hey, we get to see my ugly mug again. Um, I started the book I'm currently reading. Magic, the the stuff in the Sheep series, Magic, book one. And I don't have it readily available, but I'm also still reading the Golden Compass. Don't know why that's taking me so long. Uh, it should take me that long with Golden Compass. It's not that long of a book. I don't know why it's taking me so long. But I guess. I don't know why. So. I don't know if I'll talk softly in this video or not. But hey. We'll find out. Maybe I might be able to tweak my voice. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to end this before I start rambling. This has been... I book call brought to you by Crazy C88. And I hope you keep on reading and live and let live. Keep on reading, happy reading, whatever else. I need to set up. Tell me set up. Set up. Write in that comments. Do your comments. Tell me set up. Please just tell me set up, set up, set up, set up. Goodbye. I love you all. Happy reading. Bye.